Imagine. You are buying or trading a photo card, and it arrives like this, just stuffed into an envelope without any protection. Sometimes you might be lucky, and there is no damage to the card, but packaging it like this can lead to scratches, indents, creases or other damage. So today we want to show how we package our cards, so that they arrive safely, and in good condition. Ideally, we first put the card into a soft sleeve. This protects the material of the card from dirt, abrasion, and scratches. Then, we put the photo card into a top loader. The top loader should cover the whole card, no part should be sticking out. As it is made from harder plastic, it offers additional protection against bending, creasing, dents, and scratches. As a top loader can be quite tight, do not put many cards into them, especially when they have different sizes, as they might imprint onto each other. Because a top loader can still bend, and might feel promising to thieves, we sandwich the top loader in another sturdy material, like cardboard, foam board with smooth surface, or even a greeting card. Secure the top loader with masking tape, so it is secure, but can be taken out again easily. Sorting machines are not gentle, and content with hard or sharp edges can rip through the sides of a paper envelope, resulting in damage or lost items. This is why we secure all envelope edges with tape, this way, they cannot rip. Use plastic tape for this, as masking tape often is not as secure. You can package bigger cards in a similar way, if possible. There are hard cases available in bigger sizes, though they might be less accessible in some countries. If you do not have a top loader, you can use firm and smooth cardboard instead. Please pay attention that you do not use any cardboard that has ridges or a noticeable structure. These can press into the card, and then the card will have a wavy structure too. If your cardboard is generally smooth, but you still notice some light structure, you can use a blank sheet of paper as a buffer, to provide additional protection. Also secure the card, and the cardboard sandwich, with tape or masking tape at the sides, so the contents will not slide around or disalign. After preparing the card, also tape the edges of the envelope, as we did previously for the smaller envelope. Why use a white sheet of paper? Well, white paper also serves as a good substitute for a plastic sleeve. Using printed paper can lead to color transfer onto the card, as you can see in this case of a Persona postcard that was shipped in newspaper. If you use printed paper with a plastic sleeve, color might transfer onto the sleeve, which might not reach the card, but is not a good look either. In the end, if you want to pack it sustainably and efficiently, just collect all good material that you get from trading or buying, and reuse it. Put it somewhere into a box and use it when necessary. Of course there are alternative packaging methods, such as adding bubble wrap around the sandwich, layering multiple layers of cardboard for sturdiness, or alternating the cardboard alignment, so that it bends even less. Just remember that when packaging sensitive items, more is more, and a layer of white paper and cardboard is the minimum of protection that should be used. Thanks for watching.